Hi there, I'm Peter Noble, Festive Director of Blues Fest in Byron Bay. And we actually are in Byron Bay, even though that the uh, suburb we're in is called Tiagra, the bay, as it's known, is this big bay that stretches all the way from the lighthouse around to Brunswick Heads and on to South Golden Beach. It's, but we're in that bay about 15 minutes drive out of town. Let me say a few things about Blues Fest, please. So it is our 35th and we really want to see you. Come on down. It's going to be a great festival. Just today, we've announced an exclusive play with Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals. And I think it's really difficult to say, where would Blues Fest be without Ben Harper? I mean, back in 1996, when he first played, back when we were at the, gee, Belongeal Fields, um, he showed many of us a new direction in blues and roots music and one which so many bands were influenced by. I don't believe that John Butler and Xavier Rudd and Angus and Julia Stone and Beautiful Girl and many more, Kim Churchill, on and on, would be the same as they are today without that influence of Ben Harper. There was a time when he was in the zeitgeist. Every album he put out was a top 10 and every time he came to Blues Fest was an occasion. Well, we're going to recreate that occasion. It's been five years. Yes, we did have him on our 30th and he's coming back with the Innocent Criminals. And there is no Ben Harper show like a Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals show. As well, so many great artists. You've got Matt Corby and you've got Ziggy Albert, Portugal the Man on Thursday. We've just announced five artists on Monday, including the artist who was the Britain's top selling female artist after 2010 for the next 10 or 15 years and Europe's Katie Malua, just announcing the waves. Oh, what about these guys? They are called infectious grooves with current members of Metallica, Suicidal Tendencies, a Slipknot drummer and Velvet Revolver. That is a funk punk extravaganza and a serious supergroup. It's just, it's Blues Fest. From the first day to the last, great shows, multiple stages. I believe we'll have six stages this year. And if you're coming, come on, come and stay on site. That's where you get the best experience, whether you're in a vehicle. And by the way, um, our large vehicles are almost sold out. So if you want a five day season, large vehicle pass, don't delay, threes are already gone. Plenty of camping left, plenty of glamping, plenty of TPs. That's the experience that you're going to find is the best one. You can go back to where you're staying between bands and it's so friendly in our campgrounds. Everybody goes, it's the best experience. I'll just say one more thing, platinum tickets. We've got Valentine's Day coming up. What a gift. And sh only 100 people get to stand in front of the stage a couple of metres away from the artists that they want their loved ones to be beside them to see. Be it Tom Jones, Jack Johnson, Ben Harper, Portugal the Man, Katie Malua, you name it. Our two main stages is where you can come and see that and it's not that expensive when you compare it to what it would cost you to go and see those artists would do concerts. But the difference with us is you get dozens of artists, not one for your money. So it also won't obstruct the viewing of people who don't want to get that experience. It's only going to be over one side of the stage. It's going to be standing. It's a small area, very exclusive. And then there's lots of other things on top that you can go and look at. The VIP areas this year will have viewing platforms at the Mojo and Crossroads stage. Plus, we're announcing there will be bands playing in the VIP. Blues Fest will never stop giving you real value for your money. And in fact, did you know that our ticket prices this year currently are 10% less than last 2023 festival? We know times are a little tough, Make the decision, 
come and support live music and we'll look after you so many ways. What a gift for your children.